up everybody it's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at y'all again with another video I'd like to ask you guys forgiveness for my absence the brother was under the weather for more than a week but you know I was still able to get some sneakers the sneakers been sitting here for me to uh, give you guys a review give you a look at the sneakers so we're going to get into that very shortly but before we do I need a couple of things from you guys you already know hit that like button on today's video also leave a comment in the comment section down below do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i come back with another video and sub up to the channel if you haven't already now today we're gonna take a look at a sneaker uh it released uh well it retro what i should say uh, a couple weeks ago uh it's part of a pack that came out in 2001, the Ugly Duckling pack. Uh, this is one of four, and uh, they have retro. This is the second one, the retro this year. The uh, other two are set to retro later on in 2024. Uh, we're gonna bring out the box. You got a regular orange and white Nike box going all the way around. And this is the box tag right there. I'm gonna read the label to you. It says Nike Dunk Low SP and the color is Daybreak. Yep, that is the color Daybreak. You know, and Barn Pump. This is a size 14. And the retail price was $115. Now, I struck out on this when they released on the sneakers app and I was actually on my way to uh, one of my local boutiques that I frequently visit as I show you guys the last step right there and lo and behold I saw the sneakers in the window so I'm like let me go inside so I went inside and they actually had your boy size as I show you this white paper right here and it's not that often I can walk in a store and get my size for retail on release date. As I show you that white and green YCM sticker right there. That completes everything that came in the box. So we are gonna get into the sneaker that I've been talking to you guys about. Here we go guys, we have the Nike uh, Dunk Low, the, uh, the Plum. This is one of the four sneakers that are uh, part of the Ugly Duckling pack, which released to us in 2001. The Ugly Duckling, Koda JP, it like originated in Japan. This part of the uh, that pack, that Ugly Duckling pack. So, uh, like I said earlier, this is the second sneaker of that pack, the retro this year. We had the uh, Dusty Cactus earlier this year. This is the plum. We got the veneers and the ceramics set to uh, release later in 2024. And I believe the veneers are up next. They're actually uh, hitting some of the uh, my local stores as I record this video. So we are gonna jump right into it. You have that uh, like a vivid purple on your overlays, your uh, down your lace eyelash at your mud guard you have that daybreak colorway on your quarter panel and you have that plum and on your nike swoosh right there all these materials is a nice grand of suede okay your midsole white midsole and you got that plum color at the very bottom which leads to the outsole all plum colored outsole nothing fancy just your traditional Nike Dunk Low also, as I show you, you got that plum suede heel badge right there with Nike embroidered in that dark plum colorway. I'm sorry, that dark purple colorway or vivid purple. You do have the daybreak colorway going on right here. As we go around to the medial side of the sneaker with that, uh, that excuse me that plum color swoosh you got that daybreak colorway again on the quarter panel as I show you the dark purple uh, colored overlays and your mud guard down your lace eyelets your white midsole again and the, uh, the plum at the very bottom let's go inside it does come stuffed with tissue there you go 
give you guys a close up on the suede. It's nice and soft. Got a little brush bag motion going on. Comes factory release, one set of laces, this plum colorway. And you got a nylon tongue, woven patch up to the top in that daybreak colorway. As the same color that's on the tongue as well. You do have Nike on here, Nike branding. And turn around, there you go. And you do have a dark purple sock liner, there you go. And let's see. Does the insert come out comfortably? Not comfortable enough for me, so I'm gonna leave it intact. Show you inside of the sneaker. You do have that uh dog purple insert, Nike embroidered in that uh the Nike branding I should see in that plum colorway and try to give you guys a look what I read it first. Side 14 production date September 20th to November the 10th of last year. So like a couple months of production with that. Try to give you guys a good look. There you go. So let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Did you guys cop this sneaker on release day? Or was it even on your list? Uh, right now it's kind of slow with sneakers. Uh, I know we got some COVID's coming out and all that good stuff. But a lot of people I uh, interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. The most popular sneaker they're looking forward to is the Dagon Military Blues. So I know they're going to have a good bit of Military Blues out there, but you're going to have to lace up your boots to get them. So uh, get ready for it. But I like these. Finally, we're able to add these to the collection. So I have three of the four of the Ugly Duckling pack. The Dusty Cactus, I'm kind of not feeling them like that. And they have been restocking those quite a lot lately but uh this is the uh the plums from the ugly duckling pack which originated in 2001 i'm gonna go ahead and end the video off if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker i'm titanic feed jack signing out